Dear learners, welcome back to Research Methodology course. I am Lisna Jus and in this video I am going to talk about research process in general and in the coming video we will have a detailed discussion on each step. These are the seven steps that can be followed while designing a research project. They are define research problem review of literature formulate hypothesis forming a research design data collection analysis of data and finally interpretation and report writing the first step in research is define a research problem that means you have to identify a research problem how we can identify a research problem? I will give you an idea based on one of my research paper I published in the year of 2018. In the year 2016, India has witnessed demonetization. The objective of demonetization in Australia was to drive India to a less cash, if not cashless economy and thereby reducing the incidence of black money and counterfeiting. After the completion of one year of demonetization, I started thinking of whether demonetization has made any influence on the digital payment or e-transaction habit among people. Then I framed my research problem, that is, to what extent Demonetization has influenced the digital banking habit among people. So this is one of the example in which how we can frame a research problem. The second step in research is review of literature. Once the problem is formulated, then the researcher should undertake an extensive literature review related to the problem they have identified and in this step you will go through the works done by other researcher on the same topic and we will see the findings in this regard and finally you will identify a research gap and from there your research work begins. Moving to the third step in research process is developing hypothesis. Hypothesis simply means a mere assumption or supposition to be proved or disproved or in other way it is, pos it is possible or tentative answer to a given question. In the case of previous example which I have given the tentative answer was that demonetization has influenced the digital payment habit of people. Moving to the fourth step in research is developing a research design. Research design simply means the plan of the proposed work and it is prepared on the basis of title of the problem, statement of the problem, the purpose and objectives, scope of the study, data collection and how we are going to process and analyze the data. The fifth step in research is data collection or collection of data. We collect data from the respondents by using data collection instruments like questionnaire or interview schedule and so on. The sixth step in data in research is data analysis. Once the data have been collected, then the researcher turns to the task of analyzing the data and testing of hypothesis by using various tests such as chi-square test, t-test, f-test and so on. And hypothesis testing will result in either accepting the hypothesis or rejecting it. The last step in research is interpretation and report writing in the given format. This is all about research process and in the coming videos we will discuss each research step in detail. Thank you.